Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new Terraria series, my friends. This is simply going to be called Let's Play Terraria, and this is basically going to be like the old days of Python GB, my friends. That is right. So, if you guys are excited for the series, please do be sure to drop a like rating. If we can get something like a thousand likes, that would be absolutely fan freaking fantastic. But without further ado, already got a character. We're going to create ourselves a small world on normal mode. We're going to go for random. We'll go for random. Why not? And um, we'll just call it Let's Play World. And yeah. Guys, as this is generating, I guess it gives me an opportunity to tell you guys about this series. This, for me personally, is a series where I'm playing Terraria for what it's meant for. And that is for fun. That is right. I intend on doing all sorts of stuff in this series, from mega builds to taking on bosses with weird loadouts. Basically, how it's going to work is the priority is fun first... Then progression second, okay? So I have absolutely no intentions of rushing through this playthrough by any stretch of the imagination. I intend on taking as much time as I feel like I want to because I want to have fun playing the game again. Because I feel like, especially recently, I don't know, I feel like all of the Terraria series I've ever done have always been a case of, oh, hey, let's just progress as fast as we can and try to keep people interested and not really show them what is actually going on behind the scenes. So, on that that same note, I don't really intend on cutting too, too much out of this series, my friends, in terms of the episodes. Now, obviously, you know, super, super boring stuff. I will try my best to either speed up or make a little bit more interesting in some way. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I don't really want to be cutting away because I want you guys to experience this playthrough with me, okay? I really, really do. From farming for resources to all that kind of epic stuff. Honestly, like I say, the priority is fun first and then progression second. So for all of you guys who are like, oh, hey, Python, you should go ahead and take down the Moon Lord with a copper short sword. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Hey, Python, you're not progressing quick enough in this series. Um, I don't know. In previous series, you got to the Eye of Cthulhu one, episode three or even episode two. I don't care. I do not care. I feel like I, I just want to play the game for fun. I really, really do. So, yeah, I hope you you guys are okay with that because it's, it's going to be what happens. It is going to be what happens. And the only other thing I wanted to say, my friends, is the fact that these episodes are going to be going out daily on the Python GB channel uh, until probably I wind up moving. For those of you guys unaware, I am currently in the process of buying myself my first ever house. And as a result, there will be, you know, a period of time where I might not be able to get episodes out daily, but I will certainly try my gosh darn best to make sure they're coming out regularly. But for now, I am able to maintain them daily. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I really, really do. So in this episode, what I really want to do, and this is gonna sound very, very strange, I'd actually really like to set up on a beach. The reason why I want to set up on the beach is because I've actually got a couple of achievements that I haven't even done yet. So if I go way down the bottom here, one of them is complete 200 uh, angler quests, obtain a golden fishing rod, obtain a rainbow rod, fire a rainbow gun while riding on a unicorn, and then this one is probably the easiest one out of the lot, fire a bee gun while wearing a full set of bee armor. That is right, my friend. So the reason... Oh, wow, that is a big, big pond. Holy lord. The reason I want to set up on a beach is because then I'll be able to get the angler, hopefully on first day, and then, you know, be able to get on with our fishing quests. I would genuinely love to try and get up to 200 fishing quests. I know it's going to take a long time. That was, what, 140 plus fishing quests we need to do, but... If I keep determined, like, on the daily, in Terraria, that is, on the daily, if I come back and I see what kind of quests I need to get done, then I'm sure that I'll be able to get something going at the very least, okay? So, that is the plan. Uh, the plan right now, though, is to get out of this gosh forsaken pond, because I don't want to be here. Uh, for many, many reasons, because the Crimson is apparently here. We've got a Bowie House. Oh, that is fantastic! Oh, yes, baby. Right, okay, so, uh, that's looking pretty good. Do we want wood armor? Is that even going to be that useful to us? I mean, might as well, right? Hello! Hi, buddy! I'm probably going to die! This is going to be great, isn't it? Well, at least it is an expert mode. I won't be losing too much if I do wind up dying. So, that, oh gosh. Okay, right, okay, that's it. Everybody's coming in. We're probably going to die fairly shortly here. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. There's some gel. And let's get out of it. Okay. So we need to go ahead and get ourselves past the crimson vine because I really want to try and get to the beach. If I get to the beach, I'll be able to set up and everything will be fan freaking tastic. And I'm pro I'm actually probably going to die now. Oh, gosh. I don't want to die in my first episode, bro. That just sucks. I really don't want to die. Nah, oh, man. Nah, fam. I ain't, I ain't a fan of this. Oh, gosh darn it. I don't even know what to do at this point. I could dig down, try and get some arrows. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, really, I'm not entirely sure. Hello. I can't even, I can't even do anything here. Hello. Right. Okay. All we could do is sort of try to do something. Nope, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, we're dead. Yep, there we go, my friends. First death of the series. All I'm trying to do is go to the beach, man. I mean, it's summer, right? It's summer. Why would you not want to want to go to a beach? I don't understand. I don't understand. I really don't. Anyways, uh, I'm going to grab myself the rest of the wood armor set. Uh, there we go. So we've got three defense straight off the bat, which is fantastic. We'll also grab ourselves a bow because why not? Oh, powerful. Gosh darn, we are getting lucky with the prefixes, guys. We really, really are. Okay. You know, the more arrows I am able to make, the better things are going to be, I guess. Uh, so how's about we go ahead and uh, get a few? We could also convert them into, uh, if we really wanted to anyway, convert them into flaming arrows. So I've just done that. And yeah, everything is looking good. All right, so let's start that again, shall we? We're going to start this adventure again. We're going to try to survive this time because all I want to do is go to the beach. So some of you guys might be wondering, well, Python, why are you not going to go ahead and explore the left-hand side of the map? I mean, you know, the jungle. The jungle is the answer. The jungle, I'm pretty sure, is going to be more dangerous than the crimson. Although, to be honest, there might be crimson on both sides of the world, right? So... I don't know, man. I don't know which I prefer out of the two dangers, as it were. So, <laughs> it's just one of those things, isn't it? We're just going to have to sort of deal with it. We're going to have to be big boys. We're going to have to just power through it like real men. <sighs> or ladies, wh whichever you prefer. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, here we go. Going back through here. All right, all we're going to do, we're just going to run, okay? We're just going to run. We're just going to leg it. We're just going to run. There's our money. We can grab our money back. Yep, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Oh, my word. Ah, oh, how I wish I had Hermes boots right about now, or even a grappling hook. Oh, okay. I managed to get past him, which is cool. Right, can I jump that? I'm not hoping so, of course. Oh, unnecessary damage. Gosh darn it. All right, I don't even think I can make it up that. Uh, boop. Now I can. Ah, <laughs> you think you're smart. Yeah, you're not so smart to me, sunshine. Right, I'm hoping there's no spiders, because if there is... We could be in a bit of bother. We could be in a real spot of bother. Which I don't really want to be in bother, to be honest with you guys. Yeah! There we go. Jump over him. As long as they're on the same altitude as you, they won't jump up and try and nab you in the air, right? That's how I remember doing it anyway. So, yeah. Let's continue on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Unnecessary damage again. Come on, Python. Stop being a noob. Come on. You've played this game for many, many years. Like, seriously, many, many years. And I'll tell you what, my friends. I'll tell you what. That kind of brings me on to something else I wanted to mention. I am going to be bringing back the comment question of the video, but not just the comment question of the video. My comment question of the video for you guys. So, my first question for you guys is how long have you guys been playing Terraria? I'd be very, very interested in knowing. I really, really would. Ooh. Ooh. That would be some stuff. Fantastic. I'd be very interested in knowing how long you guys have been playing Terraria. Me, personally, I have been playing it since... Uh, uh, since 2011. Oh, I'm in a real spot of bother here. Okay. I can make it down here, which I guess is cool. Um, yeah, we're in a... We, are, we, are, we really are in a spot of bother here, aren't we? Okay. Um, wait, really? The Crimson continues? Surely the entire right-hand side of this world isn't just crimsonified. I'd be absolutely astounded if it was. Well, let's open that. Oh, we got Fire Blossom straight out and some Deathweed Seeds. Deathweed Seeds and Fire Blossom, uh, they're going to be very, very useful, especially the Deathweed, if we want to be going ahead and uh, doing anything for, you know, farming purposes. Uh, right, let's go ahead and take these guys out of the game. Because I have a bow and I have the ability to. <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh my god, get absolutely destroyed. Come on. Boom. Ah. Oh, these guys keep jumping around like noobs. Seriously? How many of these guys are there? 
I'm a little bit astounded, actually, just how many of these guys there are. I think there's another one coming along. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this. Hello. Okay. 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 That's him out of the game. Uh, this guy's nearly done. Yeah. Okay. We are good to go. Right. Are we getting any closer to the beach? That is the goal for today. All I want to do is get to a beach. I would love to just be able to chillax on a beach. It's one of the most satisfying things in the world. Uh, actually, talking of which, <laughs> the place that I'm going to be moving to in real life, that's not too far away from a beach. It's around 40 miles or so, which might seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't. Not really. It's like an hour drive if you really want to look at it that way. Oh, hey, the dungeon. I wonder... I think you guys know what I'm wondering. The question is, is it going to be here? <gasps> no way! Oh my god. This is a completely random world. You guys saw me generate the world. I didn't put in the seed. It's completely random. We've got the freaking water bolt. Day one. You're actually kidding me, right? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there we go, my friends. We're pretty much set for pre-hard mode. Well, there's me talking about not rushing through the bleeding series. And then freaking Terraria is just like, nope. Here, please do accept this. Jeez, dude. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. We're in a freaking water bottle on first day. Unfreaking believable, guys. Well, uh, I don't know if that is a first. I have done so many Terraria series at this point that I really can't even remember what happened in each one at this point. But holy lord, that's incredible. Oh, that looks a bit dangerous. I don't know what's going on. I may die from this. I'm hoping not, of course. Ooh, ooh, can I? Can I? Come on. Yes, okay. Ropes. Ropes! Gotta love the ropes, man. One of the greatest additions to Terraria. Like, legitimately. I am not being disingenuous when I say that. Ooh! A massive tree! Oh, mate. This world just keeps getting better and better. I can't tell you how hyped I am about this world at the moment, guys. We've got giant trees that go down. But I'm still looking for a beach. Hmm. Do you know what? Do you know what? We're actually going to go explore this real quick. Because, you know... Uh, well, hang on a minute. If I break that one, there we go. Uh, then I won't be flooding the place, is what I'm on about. So, yeah, let's go down here. Yeah! And there's cobwebs! Oh, my gosh! All right! Leaf wand, living wood wand, more torches, recall potions. Terraria is absolutely spoiling us today. This is brilliant. Okay, right. Uh, if we can find ourselves 35 cobweb... Then we can make ourselves a bed and therefore set spawn, right? Uh, so, I mean, that would be a pretty good goal. But I don't think we're going to get that done in today's episode, my friends. I don't think it's going to be done today. Um, but anyways, uh, is it worth me exploring this? There's a goblin statue. That's pretty interesting, I guess. Right. Oh, wait. Was that a... Oh, sorry. I I'm seeing things, guys. I, I thought I saw a pressure plate there for a second. I freaked out just a little bit. Just a little bit. But not quite. Not quite to the full extent of freaking out and jump scaring and and uh, death and stuff. We've already had our first death of the series. We're not we're not about to have our second, right? Okay, so talking of that, the beach. It might be nighttime, but what that means is it's gonna be nice and cool at the beach, right? Yeah, oh here we go, guys. Here we go. I can hear the music. Oh guys, we made it! We made it to the beach. Oh, the angler's here already. Holy God. Okay, right. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, could I possibly... Uh, uh. Okay, could I possibly, like, barricade you in? Right, let's, let's wake you up. If you can come in here, buddy, I can at least go ahead and try to save you. Um, although, you don't appear to be wanting to help yourself. Oh, this might be an issue, sir. You, you need you need to get inside the house there, dude. Please. <laughs> Please get inside the house. I don't want you to die, bro. You're going to be, like, absolutely essential to the progression of the series. And especially towards the progression towards the freaking achievement of epicness, right? 
Oh, man. All right, let's get this thing going, though. Right. Come on. Come on. If we're quick about it, we should be able to get this thing done before he gets hurt. Wait, what did he just throw at him? Was that a dagger fish? Like a dagger fish to me. Huh, okay. Right, well, anyways, uh, we're still looking good. Oh, good day, Jesus. Oh, jeez, man. Get wrecked. No. Big no-nos. Right, uh, oh, I can make an anvil. Brilliant. Yo, baby, you know I'm making an anvil today. Oh, yes. Thank you, kind sir. Right, can I make myself... Uh, oh, I can't make any chains. Was there only five bars? I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest with you guys. Right, so let's get this placed in. We'll get ourselves a door. Uh, I also need a hammer. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, man. We've already got a smorgasbord of weapons, guys. This is fantastic. I'm honestly absolutely flabbergasted at just how well we've done on our first episode. No! Zombies, give up! Give up! Jeez! Good God above. Right, okay, uh... Uh, hello. No. 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 Go. Go away. Go away. All right. So, wood walls. Uh, no. Don't chuck them on the floor. Fill this thing in. That's what we're looking for. Oh, God. Hey, at least now he's inside. There you go. Yeah, you're inside. Oh, and he's just gone back outside. Dude, seriously. What is wrong with you? Why are you deciding that a good idea would be to go outside into the night time? Oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how stupid I think some of these NPCs are sometimes. But the good news is, I should be able to get this guy to move in there. Yeah! Oh, that's brilliant, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. Right. Uh, if I made another room, I could potentially get the guide to move in as well. Right? Let's have a look at the ocean. So the ocean is sort of up here. Interesting. I guess what I could do is sort of extend this up a little bit, like this way or something. Oh, man, I mean, we're, we're just going to do what we can do, right? All I want to do is save the NPCs, make sure they've got themselves some nice, comfortable homes. And as a result of that, we'll have, like, NPCs uh, living in houses. And it's going to be a great time, my friends. It's going to be a great, great time. Oh, yes. Hello, Mr. Crab. <laughs> Mr. Crabs. <laughs> Uh, can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? You can feel this. Sort of your face, sucker. Get wrecked. There you go. All right. What the? Zombies. Lots of zombies. Different textured zombies. Awesome. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of want to make these like the same width, kind of. <laughs> oh, gosh, darn it. Oh, plus 20% mana cost. So it costs 12 mana per time. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then that'll be the wall, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to get this house done, guys. And then we are going to end the episode because I don't want these episodes lasting too long. I want you guys to actually be able to, you know, consume these episodes on a daily basis if you do decide to stick around for that long, and that is. And, you know, if you guys haven't already, then uh, do be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes. Like I say, I intend on these going out daily, so if you don't want to miss out, then make sure you're subscribed. It's as simple as that, guys. It really is. Right, I'm going to put this in here. There we go. And then I can get like a door and a table and chair and stuff and then we'll all be okay. So, uh, boof and some more of these. There we go. And we should just about be okay to go if I chuck this in here, chuck this in here, get this all filled up and then we'll be good to go. The only thing is, guys, I know that as soon as I end the episode and then come back into the world, I'm going to spawn way back at original spawn. And that's going to be a bit of a pain. Hmm, that actually will be a bit of a pain. Yeah. I've just come to the realization as well that this house is actually taller than this one. Ooh! I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. My OCD is telling me that, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> but, oh, no, man. We, we can, we can, we can amend it, can't we? Not that difficult. We can just go ahead, get rid of this. I mean, this guy should wind up just roaming around in a second because, technically speaking, he doesn't have a house anymore. Right? There you go. Right. Boof and boof. There we go. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. Don't worry. I'm just amending this really awful house that I've got going on here. Obviously, we're not going to keep it as just this. We're going to go ahead and spruce it up uh, a little later in the series. Uh, but there we go. All is looking well. There you go. Fantastic. All right. So if I walked away and then came back, uh, if I can, that is. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're in trouble. Oh! 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 
Go! Oh, 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 that actually worked. Ah! Okay. Yeah, that was that was a mosh pit and a half, wasn't it? Good God! Well, somehow I survived that. I'm very surprised. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm legitimately surprised that I survived that. Right, if I walk away and then come back, yeah, the guy just spawned in. Look there. Look on the mini-map. There he is. Hey, look at you. Everything's looking fantastic. All right, guys. So there we go. We've got ourselves a beach house and everything is looking fan freaking fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to actually end this first episode here. But I'm probably going to record the next episode straight after this one because I really want to try and get a bed and therefore set my spawn point in this beach. Because, like I say, anglers here. We can get ourselves a fishing rod, get some bait going. Oh, there's freaking fireflies here as well, dude. If I had a freaking bug net... I'd be 1 million percent picking those things up, but sadly, I don't have that ability just yet. Gosh freaking done. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys are excited for the series, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, then please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. Honestly, it means more to me than you know if you drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria content, my friends. But like I say... This series is going to be fun first, progression second. So, for now, my friends, I bid you adieu. Thank you so much for watching. Please do have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.